Did you know you should drain and clean your hot tub every three to four months? That's because contaminants and biofilm build up in your pipes and cause cloudy water, slime, and scum lines. And the only way to get rid of it is by flushing your pipes and draining the water. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to drain, clean, and refill your hot tub. Let's dive in. Real quick, before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your hot tub, be sure to grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash spa sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your hot tub clean and clear throughout the year. First, here's the supplies you'll need to drain and clean your hot tub. A hose with a hose filter, a sump pump, a hot tub line flush cleaner, a surface cleaner or diluted vinegar, a soft cloth or towel, a hot tub filter cleaner, a hot tub cover cleaner, and your regular chemicals to balance your water after you refill your hot tub. Step one, add a hot tub line flush cleaner. Adding a hot tub line flush will purge your plumbing of any gunk and buildup. So before you drain out any water, add the line flush to your water, turn your jets on high, and let it circulate for at least 20 minutes. You might notice gross looking foam on the surface of the water as the cleaner circulates through your spa plumbing. That just means it's working and pulling out all that nasty biofilm that's inside your pipes. Step two, drain your hot tub. Before you start draining, shut off your hot tub at the circuit breaker. You don't want your jets or pump to kick on when there's no water. Now there are two options for draining your spa. Number one, you can connect a hose to your hot tub's drain spout. Unscrew the cap and connect the hose. Then open your drain's ball valve or turn the base of your drain to start the flow of water. The water will drain out over the next few hours. Or number two, you can use a sump pump. This is a much faster option. Attach a garden hose to your sump pump and then place the pump inside the deepest part of your hot tub. Plug in the pump and turn it on. Just be sure to keep an eye on the water level. If the pump runs dry, it can burn up the motor. So turn off the pump as soon as it stops pumping water. If there are a few inches of water left, open up your hot tub drain spout at the end. Whichever method you choose, be sure to drain your water into a sewer cleanout port or a utility sink in your home. Do not empty the water into a storm drain and be careful emptying it into your lawn or your garden since the water has chemicals in it. Step number three, clean or replace the filter. While the water is draining from your spa, it's time to clean your filter. Grab a five gallon or 20 liter bucket and fill it part way with water. Add a hot tub filter cleaner, give the water a start to dilute the cleaner, and submerge the filter. Leave it soaked for 24 hours. Rinse the cleaner thoroughly with clean water before placing it back in your hot tub. Any residual cleaner might cause foaming when you restart your hot tub. And if you remove the filter and it's extremely dirty or worn out, it's time to replace it. Step number four, clean the hot tub shell. Once all the water is drained, it's time to clean your hot tub surfaces. Spray your hot tub shell with a hot tub cleaner or diluted vinegar. Use a soft towel to remove the residue. Be sure to get in all the nooks and crannies and wipe down the headrests. Then rinse all the surfaces. Be sure to drain out all of that rinse water to prevent foaming later. Double check that all your jets are open. This will prevent water pressure problems and trapped air when you add fresh water. Step number five, refill your hot tub. Before you start adding fresh water, make sure the main breaker of your hot tub is still off and be sure to close your hot tub drain spout. Insert the hose into the filter compartment and turn on the spigot. This forces trapped air out of your plumbing system and helps prevent an airlock. Be sure to use a hose filter to reduce minerals like calcium and copper, especially if you have hard water or well water. And don't leave your hot tub unattended as it refills. Overfilling can cause water to backflow into your heater when you start up your hot tub. Step number six, clean the hot tub cover and cabinet. As your hot tub refills, clean your hot tub cover. This prevents bacteria from building up. Wipe down the inside and outside with a cover cleaner or diluted vinegar. If your hot tub is outside, you may also wanna add a protectant to the cover to help avoid sun damage. Then clean your cabinet. If your cabinet is made from wood, use a gentle wood cleaner and a soft cloth. Step number seven, start up your hot tub. First, be sure that you've replaced your hot tub filter. Then turn your spa's main breaker back on. Turn off the air valve so they don't disrupt chemical distribution. Then turn on your hot tub and let it run for 20 minutes. Next, test the water. Adjust pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, and your chlorine or bromine one at a time. If you're not sure how to add chemicals or in what order to add them, be sure to check out our other step-by-step -step video. After adding your chemicals, allow the chemicals to circulate, and then let the water heat up to at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. Retest your water to make sure your water's balanced. 
And that's it. If you need more hot tub help, grab our free hot tub cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to Swim University for more hot tub care tutorials. Thanks again and happy soaking.